Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Saturday. Saturday, our busiest day of the week, except that now I am not just a working lady, I'm not just a mom lady, I'm not just a wife, I am a babysitting grandma. I am at Babysitting Jack again this weekend and for as long as they need me, but today it's gonna be different. Today he's not sick and I'm gonna take him out with us and we're gonna do this and we're still gonna do all the amazing fun things that we do, but we're going to introduce Jack to the day by day way. Where are you guys going? To a birthday party. Yeah. And my pet shark keeps coming. First stop, we're gonna drop the girls off at a birthday party. It is Shayla's birthday party. She turned 13. She's the first of our little group to turn 13. Then I think it is Molly. And then Gabby, maybe? I think. Oh, but then there's Hope is in there somewhere. Like, they all have birthdays, all these spring babies. Our group is made up of spring babies. But anyway, welcome to today. I cannot wait to show you what we're doing. We're doing something that some of you guys are probably gonna be surprised by. We drop the girls off. We're at the barn for a second because Sam, you guys might not know, but Sam, bring we bring our own hay here because we don't want our boys on a round bale because they'd be chubby. And so we feed them our own hay. And um, it's just so funny because we pulled in and Finn's just staring and looking at us like, ooh, are they coming for me? And Chino hears the truck and uh, the horses know. He turns his head really slow, looks at us, and is like, oh gosh, not them again. And then he turns around and looks back. But it amazes me how much horses actually do know and do understand. And it amazes me like how all horses have a different personality. Chino is a calm, quiet, he has such a good brain. Like he, he, he gets things so easily. And believe it or not, Finn is not that bad either. Like. We bought all of our horses with the idea that they were safe in mine, and we've been really lucky. Like, who knew I'd be this happy having horses? Oh my gosh, look! I just looked over, and he's like, I'm here, I'm ready. He was looking at me. When I looked over, he was looking at me. You guys, that's incredible. It might seem like nothing to you guys, but it's huge to me, huge. I feel so sad that we're not taking him. And over on this corner, Storm, Storm is sunbathing and Finny is eating. <laughs> Pure ice. Today's one of those days that is extreme weather. It makes me feel bad for our horses at the other barn because they are stuck outside. They all have shelters. They all have really warm blankets on. We are really careful. And another thing I want to tell you guys is that there's a lot of hay in our arena. Hi, Sky Baby. Hello. Let me get you treats. We just stopped by. We just stopped by to throw hay. But the other thing I want to tell you guys is that it does seem like we're not doing that much with our with our mares, and it's true. When it's this cold out, sometimes the world stops. Can't find our treats. The world kind of stops. Like in Canada, your life is suspended for a good five months, maybe even a little bit longer. And it's unfortunate, but sometimes you can only do as much as you can do. I want to do so much more. And this spring, honestly, I plan so much fun stuff for our girls, for our ponies. I hate that they're just sitting around. But with this weather, it's really hard. First one always to the gate is my girl Gracie. She's got, look at her little snout. Look at her nose, she's all wet. Okay, let me some. <laughs> okay, I'm getting safe. <sighs> Wait, this is not going well. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Get. All right, get. Huh. Okay, listen, Gracie, go. Can you put Gracie away? Oh, All right, just wait, I'm gonna give her some treats. Willow, I'm coming for you too. I only have two left. Come on, Willow, baby. Here. It's okay, it's okay. Don't you be mean. All right, I'll be back for you. I promise, every time I see her, I can't believe how beautiful. I'm in love with Gracie, though. She is 
so personable. I though I think she's that horse in the group that drives everybody crazy and nobody likes because that's how they all treat her. No matter where we put her and where she came from, they all think she's a brat. Oh gosh, so cold. Basically, we are trying, we are going to look at a farm today. The girls are at a birthday party and it's some kind of farm that kind of suits our needs, we think. If you guys don't know, um, if you haven't seen in past videos, I'm feeling not as safe as I used to at our barn and I want to move to some place that's a little safer for our horses. So, or at least some place I feel like I, I hope will be a little safer for our horses. I know running away isn't the right thing, but I told you guys before that barn was not our forever barn and I wanna keep looking until I find the perfect place for us. So this place um, probably won't be awesome because Sam picked it and he's all about the cheap. <laughs> I'm all about the nice. In one kilometer, the destination is on your right. So baby Jack is asleep in the car and I don't wanna wake him up, so we're gonna take um, we're gonna take the camera separately and we're gonna go in separately. One person's gonna always stay in the car with Jack until he wakes up, so let's go. Let's go see, maybe this is our new farm, you guys. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I just know that I'm just going along day by day and letting my story play out, and that's what I think everybody should do. There's so much pressure in life to be doing new things and to, be, and to know everything and to be the smartest and to be the best at something, but in reality, you just have to let your story play out the way God intended. Just relax, sit back, and watch your beautiful story unfold. This is the driveway. Bumpy driveway. They've got horses here, you guys. They have at least one horse set up for horses. It's not exactly what we already have, but I'm excited. Looking for a reason, driven by the heart, fighting for a season. We're looking at oat buildings. Gabby's favorite kind of dog. Where my love belongs. We'll be cutting edge. Make a brand new sketch. Fire in the hall. Flipping holes around. We'll be changing all that's wrong. Baby, hold on. Bring it on. Chicken coop. Huh. Oh, we can hear them. Cute. That's a small stall. A little stall. Oh, lots of hay in there. They would fit our ponies. And then is there another? Oh, yeah, here's four. Four little ones. Neat. So this is the paddock here. Oh, look at our horses would jump down past that. That's not safe. Yeah, we'd have to put it the fence. yeah but I mean. And look, you got all this. You can make it to a paddock. Yeah. So there's that, and it goes back pretty far behind these trees. And then there's all that. It's got a lot more acres than what we have right now. <sighs> what did you think, Sam? And a wood stove, that's what I like. Yeah, the wood stove. So essentially, I had to carry the baby, Sam had to carry you guys, and he is more worried about what people are gonna think if he whips out a camera than I am. Hi, <laughs> handsome. He's awake. And look at it, it's still going on. And it's all fenced. But I don't really like trees in my paddock. But I mean, that's a lot. And it's on this side too. 
little bit of property behind. I don't know. But did you like it, Sam? I like every farm I ever look at. It needs work. It's not perfect. It's not like our beautiful little barn that we have right now. Like every time you move, you have to give up something and get something else. It's a balance of what you want, right? What you want to do? You want to go? Right, baby Jack? I'm going to go to Walmart and buy this boy a new toy. Buy you a new toy. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> We were supposed to see two farms today, but uh, one of them got canceled because the people got the flu. So we're not able to see the second farm, but we're going to drive by because... <laughs> He's such a happy boy. Um, we're going to do a drive by to see if we, if we still want to see. Okay. All right. So it's way down here. This big, huge barn. Just wait. We're about to get there. Jack's like, look at me, look at me. Okay, get ready. So it's coming up here. I kind of like this one better. It's next to a road, but it's like a very quiet, not busy road. There's the barns way in the back there. What do you guys think? I think, I don't know, and the fences are cute. I like this one. It's got a pool. <gasps> look at all the all the back there's the pool right next to the road though I like it I like that one what do you guys think like I don't know that could be it you guys I don't know about this location though it's a bit far but it's only 30 minutes from the barn where we have the boys right now so that's not bad but we're far from Kaylee and I never want to be far from Kaylee because she really does feel like a part of her family and I don't want to separate her and my girls but I like that one so this one actually has a riding arena, already built yeah, riding outdoor arena. Outdoor riding arena. Too. And an outdoor riding arena already built. That's the one. I like it. Just gonna drive by again. Go really slow. If you guys see that part right there, that's the arena. Not very many window windows though. Hopefully it would have light. So yeah, that's it. I like it. Different driveway to the barn. I like it a lot. It's big. Nice spot for us to put our horse shelter. I really like it. That's the one I want to see. We'll take you guys along with us next weekend and we'll show you guys that one. Jack took Nana shopping. Jack's so tiny, you guys. You can't even imagine. He's little too. But he took Nana shopping and we got balls and a, and a tunnel for him to put the balls in. And he also got a new Spring coat. Right, baby Jack? You took Nana shopping. Now it's time to go pick up Daddy and take you home, huh? We'll be changing all